A critical threshold has been passed in the development process of Bayraktar Kizilelma, which was developed nationally and originally by Baykar and will serve as the first unmanned fighter aircraft of our country. The first taxi test of the Kizilelma combat unmanned aircraft system was successfully carried out at Korlu Airport. The first engine integration test with Bayraktar Kizilelma's first prototype was successfully completed. Baykar technology leader Selchik Bayraktar said. The testing process of Bayraktar Kizilelma unmanned fighter plane project, which was developed with Baker's 20 years of deep technology accumulation and experience, will continue with ground tests. Bayraktar Kizilelma's first flight is planned to be carried out in 2023. Bayraktar Kizilelma will be a platform that will revolutionize the battlefield with its landing and takeoff capability, especially for ships with short runways. Bayraktar Kizilelma, which has been developed to have the ability to land and take off on short runway ships such as the TCG Anadolu ship, which Turkey has built and is currently conducting cruise tests, will play an important role in overseas missions thanks to this capability. With this ability, it will also take an active role in the protection of the Blue Homeland. Unlike unmanned aerial vehicles, Bayraktar Kizilelma, which can perform air-air combat like manned warplanes with aggressive maneuvers, will change the balance on the battlefield with this feature. The unmanned fighter aircraft, which is being developed by Turkish engineers and technicians with the experience gained from Bayraktar TB2 and Bayraktar Akinci, will also provide effectiveness against air targets with domestic air-air munitions. Baykar Technology Technical Manager Selchik Bayraktar informed that Ukraine continues to deliver engines for the Kizilelma combat unmanned aircraft system. It is planned to use the Ukrainian AI-25TLT and AI-322F turbofan engines at Kizilelma. There will be three different engine options, one AI-25TLT, AI-322F or 2AI-322F for different needs. A contract was signed with Ukraine for the supply of engines to Kizilelma. It can be evaluated that the AI-25TLT without afterburner developed over the AI-25TL, which is used in L-39 Albatross trainer aircraft and can give approximately 16.9 kN of thrust, will have this thrust value at least. It is more likely to be used as a first phase motor due to its low cost, simplicity and thrust. The second engine option, the AI-322F with afterburner, will be a much more compatible option for an aircraft with aggressive flight characteristics like the Kizilelma. AI-322F, it can produce a maximum thrust of 24.5 kN without afterburner, 44.1 kN with afterburners and can operate up to Mach 1.6. The AI-322 is currently used in twin-engine Hongdu L-15 light attack aircraft. Alongside the single-engine configurations, there will be a twin-engine configuration equipped with two AI-322Fs for red. Due to the higher thrust of the twin-engine configuration, it is likely to have a larger fuselage for greater internal weapon station volume and fuel capacity. The twin-engine Kizilelma which will be able to reach higher speeds and have a wider combat radius, will also have advantages in terms of survivability as it can continue to fly if one engine fails and the other engine works. Announced by Tay on June 10, 2022, TF-6000, which can give thrust of 26.7 kN and 44.5 kN with afterburner, has similar thrust values with its AI-322F turbofan engine with afterburner. According to the information obtained, the use of TF-6000 on MIUS is on the agenda.